growth of our economy is directly related to developing positive relationships with nearly 3 million members of our diaspora, as well as bilateral and multilateral partners. And that's why Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has been making regular trips overseas in a bid to secure key investments that will fuel economic growth and increase the prospects for job creation. Come, my brother, let's go together. Take my hand, brother and sister. Look around you, what do you see? Rainbow people of the Trinity. Come, my the government of Jamaica has been steadfast in its push for meaningful economic growth and sustainable development, with keen attention being paid not only to local opportunities, but also those that can be pursued internationally. The more than 3 million Jamaicans in the diaspora were engaged at the 2013 staging of the biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference. We are resolutely committed to implementing the policies and programs necessary to facilitate increasing levels of inclusiveness and involvement to make Jamaica diaspora investments, business, and humanitarian activities seamless and successful. The diaspora community has expressed interest in a number of investment opportunities in the areas of sport, tourism, healthcare, technology, and education. The Global Logistics Hub and Caymanus Economic Zone are also generating strong investment interest. Boosting job prospects and economic growth is also a major plank of Jamaica's deepening cooperation and collaboration within the region. That's being witnessed through ventures such as Fly Jamaica Airway, a multi-million dollar regional investment that provides several jobs for Jamaicans. In July, Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller traveled to Trinidad for the 34th meeting of CARICOM Heads of Government to identify and cement other prime employment opportunities. CARICOM is more than an organization or mechanism. It represents the vision and aspiration of our forefathers for a strong integrated region which would provide the best prospects for economic and social development. In addition to celebrating 40 years of regional integration, Mrs. Simpson-Miller held bilateral talks with several heads of state on advancing the island's growth agenda and reigniting transportation in the region. We continue to give priority attention to our economic diplomacy in order to increase trade and investments. This government has always, Mr. Speaker, pursued a non-aligned, progressive, and enlightening foreign policy. We consider ourselves good neighbors to all. During this fiscal year, the Office of the Prime Minister has been leading governments charged to secure well-needed partnerships to fund many of the island's development plans. That effort was a priority at this year's staging of the annual Diplomatic Week celebrations. We will continue to engage with all countries to explore opportunities for foreign direct investment, tourism growth, expanded trade and technical cultural cooperation. Fostering deeper relations with countries on the African continent is another way the government is seeking to spur economic growth and job creation. Our shared African history and legacy must now be channeled into tangible projects that will harness the energies of our peoples to build our societies and economies. Pan-Africanism must also be effected through educational and cultural exchanges, greater economic and investment activity, direct air and sea transportation linkages, and greater person-to-person -person contact. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller attended the 50th anniversary celebration of the African Union in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in May, holding bilateral talks with several African countries. Strategic cooperation talks in the areas of airlift, trade and investment were held with the presidents of Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa and Tanzania. And now, Jamaica and Tanzania are exploring mutual aid in education and sport. That's why I'm here, to see how we can get more investors in Jamaica, investing in our country, so that we can create the jobs. It's not just about investment, it's also about going for growth with job creation. 
Prime Minister Portia Sensen-Miller's five-day official visit to the People's Republic of China augurs well for increased job creation and economic growth on the island. Jamaica signed four multi-million dollar agreements with the Chinese government, and two Chinese businesses announced plans to make the island the hub for their operations in the region. Chinese investors have also shown much interest in Jamaica's plans for a global logistics hub, the 300,000 square feet of space for ICT activities, the 8,000 acres of agro-parks, and the possibility of an airlift agreement between the two countries. Jamaica also secured funding for local development projects in domestic water supply, construction, and housing. The government of Jamaica has been using economic diplomacy to bring in well-needed investments and create jobs while doing so, all in a bid to improve the country's economic standing. Take my 